We drove our fifth wheel from Tampa, Florida all the way to Baja, Mexico and hit quite a few road bumps along the way. Our back wall being broken, he means it's likely to fall off. Somebody just flagged us down. Our underbelly fell down. I guess we got water spraying because all this is all wet. But we kept going, crossed the border and made our way down the Baja Peninsula, braving those narrow roads and close calls with semis. Hit the RV, but not the truck. Okay. Lately, we've been enjoying the amazing views, paddling around the Sea of Cortez, and eating the most delicious Mexican food. But now we are making our way south to the next beach where we literally dig ourselves into a hole. We just dug ourselves in the sand quite, quite well. And find out that we lost an important part of our RV somewhere in Mexico. I cannot believe that we are getting ready to leave the most beautiful place we have ever parked our RV. But we're in search of an even more beautiful place that is totally free. Free camping right on the beach. Further south, we're heading down the peninsula this morning. We gotta dump the tanks here at the beach at Playa Santos Pack. There's a dump station on site, which is fantastic. And then we're gonna hit the road, these terrifying, narrow, windy roads. So, hope it goes well. Too far. See if it'll come out. Okay. Put the paddle boards in before we close the other side or you're not gonna be able to make that turn, I don't think. Yes, we've decided we're gonna try to leave our paddle boards inflated and just put them inside here. I was thinking it could go like on the couch, like in the middle. Okay, we decided to reposition the paddle boards. This one will hopefully ride here, kind of hold this one in place once the other slide is in. We don't know what we're doing. We're just waiting. You don't like the coffee anymore? Nah, I miss creamer. We gotta go to the grocery store. Well, we need normal creamer though. Oh, well, what I think is normal, I guess. I guess if you're from Mexico, then this, this is, is normal. normal. <laughs> I don't like it. There have been lots of birds here, which have been nice to watch, but they have been pooping on the Starlink. Ugh, it's not coming off. A few of the people here actually have bird feeders, like hummingbird feeders and regular like bird seed bird feeders on the back of their RVs. So it attracts a lot of birds and, and they're fun to watch, you know? This is definitely the sketchiest dump station we've ever dumped at. But you know, I, I'm not sure I expected anything else. It's not great. And there's like 10 people staring at us right now. <laughs> I guess other people don't bring their big rigs up here. It's kind of, you're kind of uphill, but it is kind of leaning to, towards it. So we'll, we'll see, we're gonna get as much as we can out. So it's like going from here into this hole in the ground over here, which is, um, and then they pump it from the hole in the ground. I'm assuming it's just a mesh rear pump and then so the pump pumps it from the hole in the ground to another hole in the ground. <laughs> and, and I assume that's their septic, I don't know. <laughs> no water here, just the hole in the ground for dumping. But we are filling up our water with the agua purificada water anyways, using a water bladder. So not such a big deal. Just so you know, we have a tote that I put it in. I'm not just throwing it inside a storage unit or storage area. In there. That's the, the, the nasty tote. <laughs> yeah, it's no man's land. These roads here have the most beautiful views, but it is also the most terrifying because you've got these tiny, windy, curvy roads through the mountains with water and cliffs on one side and no shoulder and potholes. Oh, oh my gosh! We just passed one. <laughs> All of them. And semis passing on curves. Maybe I got all my semis out the way for the day. <laughs> Just then. Oh gosh, we've got a whole mess of animals in the road right here. It's it's a whole herd of goats. Oh my 
god. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't care so much. Yeah, I don't know. We've seen so many cows and he didn't care. Yeah. It's the eyes, ain't it? <laughs> no. Goats have some creepy, like, oh, there's some demonic looking eyes on goats. That's true. We just went through our first military checkpoint of the day, and I don't know. It, we, I guess we're just like the luckiest people ever. I don't know, like, it's, we haven't had any kind of, like, real search or anything going through them. I know some people do, but, I don't know, ours have been, I, like, I didn't even have to get out of the truck this time, and they just grunted and pointed at us to go around. Let us know down in the comments if you've ever had a different kind of experience at one of these military checkpoints or border crossings, because I am curious to know. We got four lanes now. It's kind of nice. It's snack time. I'm so hungry. We didn't eat enough breakfast today. We just pulled over on this little side road store stop for Craig to use the bathroom and run in to get us some snacks from this little mini market. What'd you get? Oh no, I dropped it and it broke. Oh no. Orange juice, I think. This fruta is enjoy the valley. Oh, okay. Muffins. They had a tip jar up there. I don't know why I was supposed to tip. Like I had to, literally the only thing she did was uh, scan them. Well, did you? Did she didn't you? say anything. How much she, was it? I don't know. Where's your change? <laughs> I put the change in my wallet. Did you tip? It seems like a lot, like it's, yeah, I paid, like it was 500 pesos is what I gave her. Let's see how much she gave me back. So I gotta put it 20, in the budget. So 400 and 420. 20. Okay, so, so it wasn't that much. Okay, only 60 pesos, which is like, it's like four whole bucks. No. 7350. Huh? 73.50 was the total. And then Did I gave change? whatever the. Did you get any the coins back? Yeah, but I put that in the tip drawer. Gotcha. So, That's fine. I don't, I, I don't know. It was very, it's, it's hard. She didn't say anything. She didn't even try to talk. I, she looked like she was angry. <laughs> so it was weird. I don't know. Oh, you did, it did break too when I you know. dropped it. <laughs> I think this is the most terrifying road we've been on. It's, it's a very steep drop off. Somehow it seems on both sides, no matter which side you're on, you're getting steep drop offs and very, very curvy and narrow. There's guardrails, but I don't think they would do anything. I think we got it. <laughs> We're just hoping that the uh, box of DEF that we think is in the back is actually. Yeah, I wish I'd have checked when I got out there. <laughs> it is back there. The old grass Oh. Now we just stand here and wait forever. Got empanadas. Yep. How so is far, it? So far, okay. Pretty good. You got the carne? Carne. I wonder what kind of meat that really is. We are taking Mex one are like around La Paz, not down the Malacón area where the beaches are and everything with the rig. Um, so we should hopefully miss the busiest parts of La Paz driving through with the RV. It's still pretty awful. But it's, it's still pretty nerve wracking. And it just like all of a sudden was like, bam, four lanes of traffic, people everywhere, cars, lots of stop signs. Whew. 
There are so many campers right now on this beach. I don't know if we're gonna find a spot. This is insane. Where's the Playa Santos pack? This is, I, like, this is like one of them 55 and older uh, communities <laughs> in uh, yeah. like Florida or something. Packed in. I think they're only here for the day. The day's over. Well, I mean, like Sunday. Well, what do you want to do? I, I don't know. I don't really want to try and park in this soft sand right here in between, where, for some reason, where there's nobody else parked. I don't okay, understand. Okay, well, what about backing into right there? I think we'll be blocking that truck. Ugh. Or we'll have to park really close to these other yeah. people, which will mess up our living area. Sucks. We just dug ourselves in the sand quite, quite well. We had to go either left or right. Left was very soft, right was apparently also very soft. Probably should have aired down the tires before come before going, but we're doing it now. While Craig's airing down the tires, I'm getting our traction boards out and sticking them behind the rear tires. And we'll hopefully come right on out. That's the hope anyways. I'll air the tires down to about 20 PSI and it will help us get out of here. I'm not sure that. Did the tire spin? No. You're like not going? Are you in park? No. Nope. <laughs> okay, as you saw that did not work, but some kind people came up, they're gonna help us and told us to air down our trailer tires. So now we're gonna air those down. Help has officially arrived. We're gonna try out someone's brand new wench on our truck. Oh yeah, look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> crazy, right? That's crazy, it just pulls it right on top of the sand. Oh, you're talking about that, I'm talking oh. about airing down. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's good too, that was good too. <laughs> that worked. Is he in neutral? Yeah. Uh, Oh, okay. Awesome. That's awesome. That good trick. We've decided to just park the rig by the dunes and possibly try to find a beach spot tomorrow. But to top it all off. When we went to try to level, we have discovered our back jack stand, the part that goes on the bottom, is just missing. Apparently, this pen broke off, and so we lost it, I guess, going down the road somewhere. I have no clue. Put this on it again. Just let it rest on this piece of wood. I don't know what else I can do right now. Maybe La Paz has uh, some. RV trailer places that was quite a day hit the subscribe button because this friday you're gonna find out whether or not we even make it out of this place and where we go next on our baja adventure